Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Melissa. I like to be a fly on the wall. I like to buzz through the blinds of the energy on my mind. And I want to focus on oh, Chantal. It's a general reading. It's for entertainment purposes only, but let's ask some questions. Let's see what the cards have to say. And if you want to support what I do here and you're not already, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys. Love you. All right, let's zoom me into this on the G. Let's see what's happening. Z bzz. Show me Chantal's energy, please. What's going on? What's representing her current energy? So, I think there's something going on with home, Kuwait, where she's like waiting for some sort of answer or word from Salah. I feel like it might have to do with paperwork, legal matters, the justice court is here. It's like, things are up in the air. Something's up in the air, something not. Chantal might feel like information's being kept from her by Salah. Um, and when I see this King of Sword, I don't know, I see the, ener the masculine energy that I connect to Salah. So I don't know if this is a friend, a lawyer, a father energy, someone that... Someone that Salah, like listens to the advice of. That's what I'm feeling. Show me a little more. What is Chantal feeling about Salah? What is Chantal? So... on the bottom. The eight of a uh, coin, nine of cup, and the ten of wands are on the bottom. And I have a nine of sword, tower, strength, wheel of fortune, five of sword, and the five of pentacle. So, we get this a lot for Chantal when I do readings. This is the nine of sword. Sometimes I associate this when I do a health reading with sleep apnea issues so this could be here because she's having issues with her sleep now i'm gonna say if she is doing um gummies like eating that stuff all the time that isn't maybe i don't know if that's really good for your sleep apnea um so i don't know if that's making it worse or making when you have sleep apnea i don't know about Chantal. i know that sometimes you have very vivid dreams, specifically nightmares. Um, so I don't know if she's having nightmares more vivid than normal. Um, also, I call this like the waking nightmare. Sometimes we feel like we are in a waking nightmare. This energy is in the bed, covering their eyes. So it's like she's sealing and not wanting to really show her face. So, the tower is here. Definitely something that was unexpected for Chantal. I really think this has to do with that. <clears throat> she, <clears throat> excuse me, doesn't know when she's leaving. And I think she had a plan. Like, Salah was supposed to come. All right, he didn't come. We all knew, but I think she was still holding on hope. And I definitely don't feel... I even feel like a couple of readings ago that she maybe was, like, gonna get a ticket and leave because she was not wanting to stay there. I think she's even tired of being, like, tired of that room. Tired of being in that room. Being alone in this room, it's almost like punishment at this point I f for her. I think something unexpected that maybe caused uh, an argument or a fight with Salah. 
I think specifically has to do with when she's supposed to leave. Um, the time she was supposed to, like, how long she was supposed to be here in, in Bangkok. And I also think, like, Salah is the reason she went to that conjuring house or is leaving the room at all. Um, so I think she's gotten some unexpected news from Salah, something she wasn't expecting to hear, something about the amount of time that she has to stay where she is. And I think she feels like she doesn't have any power in this situation. The train is going by. If you hear that, I apologize. She could wish that she could get on the train and go somewhere else. So this could also be that she feels like all of her power in the, in the choices that, that are coming into the future are not, they're out of her hands. So I think Salah right now has a lot of power and control about where she's going to, like how she is staying right now in Bangkok and where she's going to, when she's going to go and where. Um, and I think she's sitting and waiting for answers that are not coming or she's getting like the runaround from him. I think she's spiraling the lack of control that she feels right now in her life especially being in this place where she doesn't feel she belongs. Um, the lack of control, I think, is really getting to her. I think it's showing in the way that she... Um, she might be defensive, extra defensive, or this is showing that, like, she's arguing or fighting with Salah. And I think it's ending with this Five of Pentacles. So, the, the energy in this in this art is suffering. They're left in the cold, or that's how they feel. It, it's usually representing, representing a person that is mentally, emotionally, physically, financially not doing well. This window is like the window of the church. So there's a light from that window. No matter what hour it is, day or night, the church doors they should be open to you. Sometimes when I see this card, I feel like this per usually they describe it like the energy is not paying attention to the light coming from the window. The fact that they could go into that church. Instead, they're just looking down, solely focused on their sorrow and the horrible situation they feel they are in. So... This could be saying a few things to me. One, it could be saying to me that Chantal might actually be considering or forced to at some point go to what I feel would represent home, Canada, where she is eligible for certain, you know, she could get certain help that she, I don't care what she says. There's certain things in Canada, being a citizen of that country, that she could get help for that in other places, like where I'm from, you're not so easy getting that help, right? You know, I'm sorry, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Uh, I think this also is ha representing that she is worried and feels, and maybe is even arguing with Salah, where it's like, if if she doesn't do what he wants, the way she he wants her to do it, she feels like he has all the power in the situation, and he's kind of leaving her feeling... Like, she doesn't know where, which way she wants to go or can go. I think, and I've said this in other readings, I feel like, that she doesn't want to go back to Canada because financial reasons, she can't get a place of her own because of how she ruined her credit and things like that. I think that's also reflected in this card, like, the person that feels financially burdened, okay? They can't get ahead. Um, she feels like if she goes to Canada, she can't get ahead. Unless she lives with Pete's or, or her... I don't believe as much as her mother and her family love her or care about her that I don't believe living with them is an actual option. So unless someone's gonna, like, give her a room... And even then, I feel like she does not feel safe there. Like, she... I think when she's in Canada, she gets feels extra paranoid... That's just how I feel about, you know, why she wouldn't necessarily want to go back to Canada. 
But I think here this is also showing, you know, that she continues to turn away from possible resources and instead focuses only on uh, the feeling of she might thrive in situations like sometimes when I get a tower card for a person's energy I feel like this person if it's not representing an actual event that's throwing them off it kind of is representing them as a energy that they may thrive in chaos <clears throat> they can't see or they don't see a way to to live other than in chaos they don't even recognize it they don't see it it's almost like like um like i've said about eugenia it's like she doesn't see herself the way we see her and i don't just mean the way she looks, but the way she... The, everything. And I feel that way about ALR. And I feel that way about Chantal. She... Um, those types of... Situations. I want, I'm trying to say things while saying things because I don't know what I can say. I get in trouble. Are some of the most difficult disorders to treat. And a lot of the time it's because the person has to want to, uh, you know, walk through the door. And a lot of the times they can't or do, or they feel they can't because they also don't see themselves that way. So, like, I don't think Chantal sees herself uh, physically the way we see her at all. Like, she knows she's she's larger but I don't I really don't think she sees what we see um so this eight of pentacle on the bottom nine of cup and the ten of wands like this isn't fun anymore this is like work I, I, you know, I think the conjuring thing, I think it was, uh, like, enjoyable for her to get out and do something, but it was also such a burden for her. Like, l her walking, that's what it feels like for her. You know, like, she's carrying all this. Not just the physical but like the emotional, like worrying about how, how others are seeing her, but at the same time trying to tell herself she doesn't care. Mm -hmm. Because she does care. And I think there's also like a paranoia. Um, like worried about people making fun of her or laughing at her or laughing at her expense. And I think this Eight of Pentacles is like, Salah's energy, kind of uh, like, you need to, you need to go out and have a good time, whether it's you know a burden for you or not, because sitting in the room, it's not bringing. I think there's some pressure from Salah about doing things while she's on you know this trip, because he wants. He wants some profit from this. From the Eight of Pentacles too. Like, why did you go? This was supposed to be ultimately. It's work. It's our job, right? You're a vlogger or whatever. Uh, and that three of, that three of. This makes me feel like. The first thing I felt was like literally her physical heart, like uh, feeling a lot of. Um, working really hard to keep her, to do that conjuring thing was a lot for her physically that's what i'm feeling i think that's why she was sweating so much at the end uh also not just because yeah you know she sweats or whatever and but that that was work for her all right show me please salah's energy what 
So I just said what I said. That's what I'm feeling like he is kind of pulling strings on his end. Mm. All right, show me what's going on with Salah. I need to know if they're, if she goes, are they going to stay together? What's he doing? <sighs> show me Salah. So, all right, so Salah is like, I think Salah is the reason Chantal's still in Bangkok. I think <clears throat> he wants her to sit there alone. He might even think it's like funny or like he's enjoying this or he's enjoying his time alone. Um, yeah, I think he's, like, keeping a hanging. He's juggling the reasons why, like, I feel like he's giving her different reasons of why you have to stay. Um, it's, it's out of my control, the Wheel of Fortune. It's, it's, it's just, you know, destiny, fate, it's what's... I, I'm sorry, Chantal, this is not, this is out of my control. And, no, don't worry... I'm not doing anything with little bunny girls. Woof, 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 woof. I mean, uh, it's ending with the nine of cups. So it's like he's enjoying his time doing what makes him happy. Whatever that is. Oh. All right. So before, I felt like he wasn't home, like in Kuwait. So this could say to me that he is now, like for me this is like home, four of wands. Sometimes this is an engagement, a celebration. I, I got this a couple of readings ago and I felt like he could have been visiting family, attending a family wedding, like someone in his family. I mean, if I felt like it was him getting married, I would say that. I don't necessarily, f I feel like this has to do more with like maybe or he's stuck. He is also stuck, maybe, in his home. Um, if But I kind of feel like he wasn't there. Because if he was, why didn't he give us some footage of Julia? Alright, I'm going to ask about... Now I'm seeing that Three of Cups. So I don't know. Oh, and I just saw the Queen of Wands. Which, I, whenever I see that for him, I feel like there's an... Sometimes for Salah, I get Empress and Queen of Wands. And I kind of link that to the feminine energy I feel like has been maybe, you know, around for a while. All right. Show me Julia. Because Julia... Mm, Julia is more honest than these two. I can tell you that much. Show me... Oh, meow. Show me Julia's. Julia's trying to stay strong. Julia's like, man, if that door opens long enough, I might run out and start a new life. Show me Julia's energy. Show me Julia, please. Show me Julia. Julia, what can you tell me? I want to see through your eyes. Are you with Salah? Like, are you in the, ho the house, the apartment? Well, wh where are you, Julia? Show me a little something, Julia. The Seven of Swords. Sorry about that background noise. So, I think this is saying to me that Salah, I mean, I don't know, I think we was lied to about, I think she's somewhere being with two women and a man, or she was, I don't think she was, I don't think she was in the, the house. Because also this makes me feel she was someplace where she felt like um, she had to like kind of maybe hide. Show me a little more. Why is the Seven of Swords here? I don't know if this is like say, making me feel that Julia is like Chantal and Salah. Sh this is how I imagine Julia's voice. Meow. Chantal. And Salah. <laughs> 
Elias, they're snakes. They put me somewhere with two ladies and a, and a man that are watching me where I'm hiding because I'm not used to this space. Show me. Yeah, I'm not seeing cards that make me think of like home. I think she's being watched by someone else. And if that's not the case, then Salah, you better show a video, because this makes me feel like, uh, I'm not saying that it gave her away, but like someone else, she was somewhere else, she's not home. There's something sneaky going on, and she's probably not, not happy that you gave her a second, one of those shots instead of getting her fixed properly, because that shot wasn't supposed to be given to her, so... She might be feeling like she wants to, you know, run away. Her equilibrium is all off. It took away her stability. She feels like... All right, anyway. Anyway, Julia says you sneaky sneaks. So, I don't know. That's what I'm seeing there, guys. Um, only time will tell. And, yeah. Show us Julia. I want to see. Show us Julia. I want to see that she's there. Home. All right. Uh... Love you guys, and uh, we'll see you next time.